Hi, I'm Juliet from Spoilt Rotten Beads and today I'm going to show you how to use chili beads to make Emma's beautiful tulip bracelet. Okay, so today I am going to be showing you how to make these wonderful tulip bracelets which were designed by Emma here at Spoilt Rotten Beads. They're really good fun. They use the um, chili beads, a four millimeter bead which runs down the center of the bracelet and you can use a four mil pearl like I am here or if you want to add a little bit of sparkle you can do what we've done with this green one here and use a four millimeter fire polish bead and then you're going to need some size 11 seed beads, you're going to need some size 10 beading needles and some fire line thread as well as a clasp. Before I get started though, I just want to show you this lovely purple one here, which Emma has joined with a little rivoli that she has bezeled earlier. And you can see how you can adapt this design. Emma's done this so that the chili beads all face away from the rivoli, but there's no reason why you couldn't flip it around and have the chili beads hugging the rivoli as well. And there is another video on our website and our YouTube channel that shows you how to bezel a rivoli. So you should be able to watch that and then work out how to join the rivoli with the rest of the bracelet quite easily. Um, just by really just taking a, a little look at that. I'll let you have a look at it a little bit close up there. Um, and then I'm just going to show you how to get started at making these lovely tulip bracelets. The first thing you need to do is to add a stopper bead onto your thread. And I've just found this size 8 seed bead from my stash here. It doesn't need to match in with the rest of your beads because you're going to take it off at the end of your bracelet. It's not going to be on the finished piece. It's just to help you get started. So pick up any bead from your stash and thread it onto your needle and take it down towards the tail of your thread. And you can take this bead quite close to the end of your thread here because you're not going to need the tail of your thread to attach your clasp with this design. And then go back up through the bead so that the thread wraps around it and it forms a stopper bead. Like so. There we go. And now I'm going to show you the order that you're going to need to thread the beads on with. So to begin with, you need to pick up one of your 4mm beads followed by four of your size 11 seed beads and then you're going to need to start picking up your chili beads before i pick my chili bead up i'm just going to explain to you about the chilies i'm going to pop two of them next to each other like this and you can see them there you can see how the chili beads have got two holes one at the top of the bead and one a little bit lower down there and then you'll also see that they have one convex edge and one concave edge so that's one that curves outwards and one that curves inwards there and you need to just pay attention to the way that you're threading the beads on with this design so that it does fit in that lovely little tulip shape that you can see. So to begin with, we're gonna be threading through the lower hole and through the convex side of the bead like so. Then pick up another size 11 seed bead, a four millimeter bead and another size 11 seed bead. And I'll just take those down there to the rest of my beads and just let you have a little look at that for a moment. Lay that out. There you go, so you can see what that looks like. And now I'm ready for my next chili bead. And once again, I'm gonna be threading through the lower hole, but this time I'm threading through the concave side of the bead. And that will make it sit around and sort of hug the other beads. It looks like a little bit, little bit like two commas, I think, sitting next to each other like that. The next thing you're going to need is four more size 11 seed beads. like so and now what you want to do is thread back through the very first four mil bead and the seed beads that you added and back through the chili bead back through the size 11 seed bead the four mil bead the size 11 seed bead and back through that next chili there and i'll just pop my thumb on it all to pull it into shape and let you have a look and see what that looks like when you pull it all together and when you pull it all up it will look like that there and you can see that little tulip shape beginning to form there and then what we need to do is go through the next three only size 11 beads so i'm just threading up through the next three size 11 beads There you go. And then back through the empty hole. So that's the top hole 
on the chili bead. So my thread is now exiting in the middle there between the two chili beads through the empty top hole. And now what I'm going to do is pick up two more size 11 beads and then go through the empty hole on the next chili bead. There we go. And now what we want to do is go down through the next three only size 11 beads. And I'll let you just take a look at that. So I've missed out the first size 11 bead at the top here, and I'm going through these next three there. Just so that we mirror what we do on the other side, really. So pull that tight. There we are. And now back through the chili bead, size 11 and four mil bead. And you wanna finish by exiting the four millimeter bead there. There we go. Let's turn it on its side. So you can see I'm now exiting the four millimeter bead. What I'm gonna do is now pick up four size 11 seed beads followed by another chili bead and we're doing exactly what we did before so again i am threading through the convex side through the lower hole in the chili bead picking up a size 11 seed bead a four millimeter bead another size 11 seed bead and then another chili bead and this time again i'm threading through the lower hole but i'm threading through the concave side of the bead There we go, and pick up four more of my size 11 seed beads and go back through this four millimeter pearl here. There we go, and it will look like that. I'm just going to get my tail of thread out of the way. There we go. And now what I want to do is work back down through these four, these, these four size 11 seed beads, the chili bead, the size 11, four mil size 11 chili bead, and then through the first three size 11 beads that I get to. So I'm going to do that right now. So I've gone through those first four mil, sorry, not four mil, first four size 11 seed beads through the chili bead and the size 11 and the size 4 mil and the size 11 and through the next chili bead. And then back up through the next three size 11 beads that I get to there. And now through the empty hole in that chili bead. Now I can pick up two size 11 beads and go through the empty hole in the next chili bead. And now I want to just go down through the next three size 11 seed beads. So those are the size 11 seed beads that are closest to this chili bead here. So I'm going down through these three. And now I can just go through the chili bead, size 11, and four mil bead and I am back to where I started again. I'll move my fingers out of the way so you can see what I've done in just a moment. There we go. So I'm exiting from this three millimeter bead here. So I'm exiting from this four millimeter bead here and I'm gonna repeat the whole thing again. So I'm gonna pick up four of my size 11 seed beads followed by a chili bead and I'm going through the convex side through the lower hole 
and then another size 11 seed bead, a 4 mil bead, a size 11 bead, and then another chili bead, and this time I'm going through the concave side in the lower hole, and then four more size 11 seed beads. I'll let those all fall down so that you can see them all lined up there. And there you go. So I've got my four size 11s chili bead, my little set of size 11s and my four mil bead, chili bead and four more size 11 seed beads there. And now what I'm going to do is go back through the four millimeter bead in the last set, like so. There we are, pull that all tight. And I'm gonna work through now all the beads in the loop until I come out of this chili bead here. So that's all the size 11 beads, chili beads, the size 11, the four mil bead, the size 11, and the next chili bead there. There we go. Through the chili bead. And then through the size 11 and the 4 mil bead and the chili bead. And then I'll get my fingers out of the way and you'll see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go, and I'm just going to pull that tight because it's come a little bit loose as I work through everything. And now I'll go through the next three size 11 beads that you get to. So just those three size 11 beads there. And pull that tight. It does feel quite loose this pattern as you do it, but don't lose heart because at the end, when you're finished with this part of the bracelet, what you do is you turn it over along the back, you zip it all up, and that's what makes all of the chili beads all stand up and the bracelet feel nice and, and secure and tight. So don't worry that at this stage, your bracelet will feel a little bit loose. So I've gone through these size 11 beads here, and now I can go through the empty hole in the next chili bead. and then pick up two more size 11 seed beads and go through the empty hole in the next chili bead there. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is go back down through the three size 11 beads that are closest to this chili bead here. So I'm missing out the first one that comes out of the pearl and I'm going down through the three that are closest to the chili bead. There we are, and then back through the chili bead, the size 11 and the four millimeter pearl. And now through the four mil pearl. There we go. And I'm just going to keep repeating that now until my bracelet is around about an inch or so shorter than I want my finished piece to be. And then I'm going to come back to you and show you how to add the clasp and then how to zip everything up so that the little chili beads sit up in that pretty little tulip shape. So I have finished adding my chili beads now and to make a standard seven inch bracelet you're going to need around about 36 chili beads and I'm finishing off by exiting from the end here through one of the four millimeter beads and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up nine size 11 seed beads so that's six seven eight nine nine size 11 seed beads and then I'm going to thread on one half of my clasp it doesn't really matter which half, half you use and I'm going to thread on four more size 11 seed beads and then I'm going to go through back through the fifth size 11 seed bead that I just added There we go. 
and pick up four more size 11 seed beads and then go back through the pearl but from the opposite direction that I was ex exiting earlier. So back through the pearl like so. And if I pull this tight you'll see there is my little clasp loop there, all nice and neat. And what I can do is just add some strength to that clasp loop now by just threading back up through all of the beads in that loop. And just one more time, just so that there's a double, a double thickness of fireline thread in that clasp loop there. I always do this with my clasps because this is the, the part of your bracelet that's gonna get the most wear. go and then back through the four mil bead one more time pull it all nice and tight now what I want to do is thread back up through the next four size 11 C beads like so and then hop across and go down through the final four size 11 C beads in that clasp loop. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is pick up four more size 11 C beads. I'm going to lay those down on top of that chili bead there and go back through the next two size 11 C beads on the other side of that chili. And this is the zipping up part that makes your chili bead stand up in that lovely tulip shape. So now what I'm going to do is repeat that process. I'm going to pick up four more of my size 11 C beads and then go back through the next two C beads on the other side of that ch next chili bead in the pattern. I'm going to be pulling it all nice and tight as I go and that's the bit that will make those chili beads stand up. So I turn this over now and you have a look at these these two chili beads when I put it nice and tight they're actually just beginning to to sit up there now in that nice tulip shape and flip it back over again and pick up four more size 11s and then again go back down through the next two size 11s on the other side of that chili bead there. So I'm going to continue now all the way down the side, zipping up those chili beads so that they stand up in that lovely little tulip shape there. And when I get to the other end, I'm going to show you how to add your other end of your clasp and then we'll just zip up the other side there. So there we are, I've got to the other end of my bracelet here and you can see I'm back at the beginning, just about where my stopper bead is. I'm going to thread through now the two size, next two size 11 so that I get right next door to where my stopper bead is. And now what I can do is just slide my stopper bead off my tail of thread and I've got my two ends of thread there now exiting right next to each other so what I can do now is use this tail just to tie a knot there and I'm going to make this a double knot there we go nice and tight and I'm going to go back through the pearl and that will pull that knot inside the pearl there. There we go, back through the pearl like so. And that will have pulled that knot from the, the tail bead there into that pearl. And what I can do now is trim off my little tail of thread that I had right at the beginning there. So that's my tail that I'm just trimming off there. And actually my working thread here is actually getting quite short. So I think this would be a good step for me to stage for me to add some more thread on. So I'm going to finish off my thread by stitching down between two beads so that there's a loop and then going through that loop just to make a half hitch knot 
I'm going to go through a couple more beads there and repeat that process again. I'm going to repeat it right next to the chili bead there. So I'm just going between a couple of beads so that there's a loop and go through that loop, pull tight and I will go through the chili bead and I'm going to do that one more time there just stitch down between two beads so that there's a loop and go through that loop to make a knot and that is my thread there finished off so what I can do now is trim off my tail and add some new thread onto my needle I'm going to show you just how to join on again as well so just thread up my needle there it's always a bit nerve-wracking threading a needle up on camera because there you go done it like a pro there we are my new needle added and so i'm going to need to join on my thread so that um i'm exiting through this end four mil bead here so i'm going to start just by stitching between a couple of beads back from where i actually want to be and tying a few knots between beads just to join on my thread there so I'm going to tie a double knot there now. And there we are. And then I can stitch through a couple more beads just to pull that knot inside a bead. And just to be extra secure when I'm adding on thread, I like to do that one more time there. So I've stitched down between two beads so that I've got a loop. Stitch through the loop and pull that not tight so it sits between two beads and then I'm going to stitch through so that I am exiting through that four mil bead there. There we go and now what I can do is trim off the tail of thread from the thread that I have just joined on. So now what we want to do is to attach the other side of the clasp. So one more time, I'm going to pick up nine of my size 11 C beads, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the other half of my clasp. I've got my thread wrapped around my coffee cup there. There we go. Bring it all back into, into view again. And then four more of my size 11 seed beads and then back down through the fifth bead that I just added. And pick up four more size 11 beads and go back through the pearl but from the opposite direction. And there is my little class loop um, and I'm going to just strengthen it by going back through all of those beads one more time. Pull that tight as I go. Here we are, nearly there. And back through the four mil fire polish bead. It's not a fire polish bead, is it? It's a um it's a four mil pearl um, and now what I want to do is I need to actually be exiting ideally through these different these two these four these four size 11 seed beads here so that I can start to zip up the other side of my bracelet but when I've gone back through my clasp loop what I've done is I flipped around and ended up coming out this side of the pearl when really I wanted to come out through this side of the pearl so we can um, make a little fudge here just by doing this one more time but this time I'm gonna exit actually where I want to be so I have to bear in mind now as I go back up through 
the beads in the clasp loop where I want my thread to be exiting out of. This will only add more strength to the piece, so that's fine. So I want to be exiting from the um, bottom, the base here of these four size 11s. So if I go all the way through here, this in this direction, um, I should be able to do that. So I'm gonna go through the, the central fifth bead there and then through the clasp loop again. And now I can exit where I want to be, which is at the base set of those four size 11s. There we go. So I'll get my fingers out of the way and you can see where I am. So I'm now exiting from these size 11 beads on the side of the bracelet that I'm gonna to begin to zip up. So I'm gonna go through the next four beads there and I can now start to zip up the other side of the bracelet by picking up four size 11 seed beads and going through the two size 11 seed beads on the other side of that chili bead there. I'm going to repeat that again for you so I'm picking up four size 11s and going through the next two chili two seed beads on the other side of that chili I'm pulling it all nice and tight and that's what makes those little chili beads there sit up in that nice little tulip pattern so I am going to go all the way down now zipping up the other side of the brace um, the other side of the bracelet and then I'll be all done I'll be able to finish my thread off and show you what my finished bracelet looks like so there's my tulip bead finished in the lovely hot pink colorway here. I hope you have enjoyed watching and please let us know what you think in the comments below. Post some pictures of your finished bracelets and come back next time for more inspiration. Bye.